canned chicken, a naughty chicken serving time in Folsom prison. Chicken breasted, a girl who is afraid to wear see-through blouse. Chicken flicker, a chicken who comes to your party and gets ashes all over your rug. This is a book of chicken jokes. And you know who would do that, don't you? Joanne Worley, the star of Laugh-In and Joanne Worley's Chicken Joke Book, which was sent to me recently by my friend David. And I'm using this to start off showing you my collection of laughing memorabilia. I've been collecting this stuff for many years and I figured I'd show it off all in one batch. So as you can see, it's pretty overwhelming to look at now. What I'm gonna do is uh, do, take it piece by piece, that's what she said, and, and show you these things individually because it's really do you love this background do you good because i'm putting it on ebay so if you want it if you want it you could buy it possibly but we're gonna get ready for uh for the show tonight get nice get nice and moisturized who likes that word moist i do uh so i can't you know as i mentioned i have all these things i don't want to go individual i have to go individually so I got to do it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time. This is a cool, it's a little bit sun faded because we had it in the kitchen for a while. But these are, you make these magnets. Uh, you could t take these out and paste them onto these. Uh, they're probably stickers. And uh, you could wear them if you want help. The more, more. <laughs> That's the first one I picked, the one I'll probably get banned for. Uh, <laughs> save water, shower with a friend, stamp out red ants. Katie Winter's sweats. Indigestion is a gas. Beautiful downtown Burbank. Here, here come the, the judge. And uh, there's 52 of these things. I've, and three shiny buttons. So uh, it's only $1.50, but believe me, <laughs> wouldn't $1.50. Pull glass brake lever. Ho Chi Minh is a pain in the East. Vote for Godzilla. Insanity is just a... Oh, here she is again, Joanne, and my obsession. Okay, so next up, we're going to move to, well, here was uh, some odd things I found. These are the stickers, Sakatumi stickers, which I use um, on, on, it's on my laptop, and so I just love these things. My Sakatumi Rowan and Martin Lappin pencil case, good night, Dick. Pearl white is yellow, very interesting. You bet your sweet bippy. It's funny, because these lines are not anywhere near... Very interesting should be there, uh, but the artwork is questionable. Yeah, very questionable. Who these people are? I found this. This uh, this is a script, a piece of a script that has notations on it, and I don't know if this ever showed up in the uh, in the show itself, but this is uh, the Age of Aquarius, and I don't know who these these. Uh, it says Ruth Artie. It says Goldie Sledge has a better idea. Um, they, they they mention a politician in here who I Googled and I didn't even figure out who that was. But this is supposedly original to the uh, to the show. Maybe this was the cocktail party. Ed Sledge, that's the name. I couldn't figure out who that is. So anyway, supposed to be Ed Sledge campaign. Duh, it's right there. Take Indian beads, buy paint. Catch your paper to tape on discs. Take Indian bells just in case. So there's that. Now I'll move on to this. My very cool Laugh-In lunchbox, which I would truly use. I remember kids using these, Laugh-In. It was such a mature show. And I remember that kids in grade school had were using it. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I even thought that was kind of weird back then. But... Uh, this one's in pretty poor shape. But here's the thermos that goes with it. And uh, just as a note, that uh, when I had my meeting with uh, Quentin Tarantino, when I started working with him on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I walked into his office and a laughing thermos was on his bookshelf. So I thought, well, there we are. We bonded. So the laughing lunchbox. Now we'll move on to, uh, let's see. Let's move on to the laugh-ons. 
This is, so people who collect stuff are really kind of particular about it. You can't break it. You can't break the seal. We got to keep it as an original box. But that takes away the fun of using it, I think. So um, these are Laugh On Tattoos. Just rub. Great fun. Such fun. Over 150 picture transfers, and they wash up. Non-toxic. Use only on normal skin. <laughs> So I remember these types of things. I don't remember ever putting them on skin, but uh, to remove the picture, use mild toilet soap and water and washcloth, gently scrub the skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to try one of these. And let's see, Troy, what do you think? There's a Artie, I don't want an Artie Johnson tattoo. Uh, Ruth Buzzy, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Maybe, hmm. Goldie. We could do Goldie. Who are these other people? These are cool looking, but who are these other people? Okay, I'll do Goldie and Sakatumi. Yeah, I'll do that. So, I know there's people screaming. No, you're not. What? We get these things to use these things. I'm not a collector so much as... So it says to start with a smaller picture until you learn. Well, too bad. I don't have the time for that. You know, I'm just going to put it over Sadie. So um, select the picture you want to transfer. Cut it out. Place the sticky side of the picture on a clear, dry area of your arm, leg, or any other clear area of the skin. Scratch the back of the sheet with the wooden thing. Carefully and slowly peel it away. Well, yes, yeah, so I don't have really any a lot of bare skin here. So I'm just going to put it on Sadie. She'll understand. So, uh, there we go. Now keep in mind, this is, this is like 50 years old. <laughs> Carefully. That's not going to work. This sucks. I want my money back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Are you supposed to lick them first? Best work. Best one completely dry. If subjected to, to dampness, have your mother put on the transfer sheet in the oven for three minutes under 200 degrees. The microwave didn't exist at this point. Well, Hasbro, you failed me. I don't have time to do this again. So, my investment is ruined. Look at that. Danger. I... Mumps. Mumps. <laughs> what is that? Mumps. Okay. Next. Uh, all right, I want to show you this really quick. This was something I got really recently. I'm thrilled with this. I've wanted one of these for a long time. My sister used to have a Barbie one. I think my brother had a car one. And the electric drawing set. And you plug it in and you trace onto like uh, blank paper. So I'm going to show you. Look at that. Ooh. So, color pencils. Colored. And you pick your, see, this is the, the, the different, uh, you're supposed to, well, 40 pieces in here, but you've got the, you've got the, the stencil sort of things. So, um, let's see. What we do is we pick one and we trace it and show you how good this is. Let's start with, oh, see, it came with somebody else, somebody else's shit. Ugh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I don't want to see these. I want to do it. I want it to be real. Oh, look at that. Nazis, always funny, always good for comedy. Look at that. Is that even laughing? <laughs> a Nazi coloring book. Oh my God, I can't. All right, so let's, I'm going to find a page, a picture real quick. And I'm just going to pick one. Let's pick, let's pick. Which one? Troy, you pick. Uh, Joanne. Okay. Joanne Worley. 
So we pick the color that we want. I'll show you how good this is. All right, so hair. We'll do the red for the hair thingy. Oh, I should have traced the black, I think. Oh, I know. Okay, I think that's what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use the black and then do all the outlines. I picked the purple one, but... I was never very good in art, <laughs> clearly, even tracing. I used to be so jealous. They used to have a, uh, in grade school, they had a class called Talented Art. And it's like the special people that were really good at it got to leave and go to the special art class. It's like, oh, as opposed to all of us other untalented people, clearly. Oh, could that game do it? I just gave Joanna a double chin. <laughs> all right, we got to give her red lips and a tongue. Hair. Hair. Uh, let's see. I don't see a flesh colored one. <laughs> White? No. All right, let me give her red eyes. She's got no, like. All right, this is as best I'm going to do. You saw the Joanne before? Look at that. I wonder if I gave it to Joanne Worley <laughs> if she'd autograph it for me. <laughs> wow. You see what a success. That's hours of fun. Look at these other people. Oh my god, look at the look what was in there. Oh somebody did. these are probably 50 year old drawings. Oh my god, that's so funny. They're terrible. Oh wow. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I just put away the colored pencils. All right, so here are some periodicals. Uh, I'm not, I can't go too much into these, but this is a Judy Karn TV guide. Now, again, thank you, you people, you nice people who have sent you sent me these things. I I have to stop putting post-its on everything because I would be going on for hours and I'd have it'd be raining post-its. So I appreciate you sending them, and I and I thanked you when they came in, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful that uh, I'm not saying it again, but I do appreciate it because I know this was a gift. I think, I'm, yeah, it wasn't actually this long ago that I looked at this. And because there's that, that Bill Cosby thing. But uh, cold draft beer in your home. In your home. What? You can own this home beer bar and have a quarter keg of your favorite beer on tap at all times. What are you doing here? So very good. look at this, look at this. Two icons, please no chicken jokes. True, they are foul. Colonel Sanders and Joanne Worley. How do you get how do you get out of this chicken outfit? So this is they had a couple of these. There's one with Hugh Hefner, and I know I had oh, gotta remember that. Draw it was draw the deer, draw the leprechaun, draw the pirate. Irish people love leprechauns. You can subscribe to this one year for five dollars. Sock it to me for only five dollars. This is a Salmenio. Was he? Was he? Wait, that oh, was seventy, so he wasn't dead yet. Sadie Thompson, don't forget your rubbers. Ah. Wow, forever am. Oh, you know what? I think that there is a. Wait, is that Joanne Worley? Mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Oh my God! It looks like. I don't even know what it looks like. It does not look like Joanne Worley. Looks like <laughs> it doesn't look like Joanne. <laughs> By the way, Joanne Worley is she not the female version of Charles Nelson Riley? And he did the. They both made that noise. Sideburns. Look the way you want when you want it. <laughs> this is the way I want to look when I want it. Beavers don't give a damn. Or, oh, there he is. That's the example of how we all learn debt for the first time. Bill collectors. Chelsea. Bless her. 
11 flicker rings. Those cost a fortune. Now I've looked for those. I've seen those on eBay, and uh, yeah, they're they are uh, they are expensive. Spiro Agnew lookalike contest. Rock Hudson is a Homo sapien. Very interesting that they that they um, made that joke. It's a little close to the bone. All right. A paperback book of Rowan and Martin's Laughing that I got a few years ago, which came with a freaking, you know, somebody put like a UP code, what do you call those codes, on it. And it was recent. And they put it on top of it. And you can't peel them off books. And look what happened. You know? Well, now I know you can't peel them off books. But, uh, yeah. Gladys and the Lech. Doing anything tonight? Doing anything tomorrow night? Thump. Sexual harassment. I'll come back when you're not so busy. Sexual harassment, always funny. <laughs> this uh, is the Lappin exhibit from the Movie Land Wax Museum. And uh, those, so those are wax statues of Rowan and Martin. Now, I wrote some people fan letters back in the day, and here's a fan, fan I wrote Ruth Buzzy back in 89, and she sent this to me, which was very nice. And I wrote Lily Tomlin, and she sent this to me, which was very nice. So let me go back, you know, came in an envelope. And those of you who saw me, I, I opened this a couple of, uh, um, probably my last one, Alan Sue's. And I did buy this one. Uh, this is uh, Rowan and Martin's autographs. Really poor, which is why it was so cheap on eBay, but... Uh, but, uh, oh, look at that. Who's on the back? Edward Judd. Edward Judd. They didn't care. <laughs> Clearly, they didn't care about Edward Judd. They just cut it out. All right, so that's that. Now, some of you have seen this one. My friend Marlene sent these to me, the laughing buttons. Um, Goldie, Artie, Goldie, Joanne, Ruth. Suck it to me. There's Lily as Ernestine. Look that up in your Funkin' Wagnalls. Now, the, I, probably so many of the people that are, no, well, a lot of young people don't even know what Funkin' Wagnalls is, but Funkin' Wagnalls was a set of encyclopedias. I think they gave them out at the supermarket, like one a month, and you collect the whole, it's like 24 of them. And uh, encyclopedias were an important part of growing up and studying and stuff like that. Now, you know, now it's the interwebs. But my friend Marlene sent me those. Next up is one of my favorites. This is my laughing garbage can uh, that uh, sits below my desk. And that Raquel Welch is just putting up a big front. See, laughing was, was really well known for its one-liners. And the cocktail party was always my favorite part of laughing. How do you make a Maltese cross? Pull its tail. Philosophy is something to think about. And there's Artie Johnson, arguably the least funny part of laughing, <laughs> in my in my opinion. But I think he was the guy in the wheel in the uh, little tricycle thing too. That was also on the uh, the lunchbox here again. That was one of their famous uh, little skit things. So, uh, but I love this. I love that. I love the colors. I think that's why I like laughing so much. Is it was just so vivid. And uh, psychedelic and Peter Maxi, and uh, and I love that, which is kind of funny. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a quick story. This doesn't have to do with laughing, but there's a couple of honorable mention things here that I that I keep stored in the same place. And this is my Peter Max uh, paper airplane book, and this was 75 cents back then. And you literally it came with little paper airplanes, and you cut them out, and fold them, and you uh, and you fly them. And this is how I got my first set of stitches. I uh, I was with these on the front porch, my neighbor's front porch, and I had uh, flung it and fell backwards and hit my head on some bricks and got three stitches in the back of my head. And it's funny because they used to be like on the, on the front of my head and now they're like all the way down to my neck practically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. one of my necks but uh but yeah so that was this is one of my childhood scars was from uh from peter max's paper airplane book this is the knock knock joke i, I haven't even opened this so i don't know how this is seven to twelve years old it's twelve years old i'm not even gonna know what this means i'm sure joke folder and 32 jokes so i have not opened this yet so that's what i'm gonna do right now 
and let's see what how funny these these jokes are. Look at that! I didn't even need a knife. Look at that. Gorilla who? <laughs> okay. So what is this thing? Instructions. Oh, you got to assemble it. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Maybe I'll do that later. And oh, I know what it is. Okay, so you. Okay, you pop these things out. And then you put the, you slide the jerk. I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna throw this in there. And like that. And. Okay. Knock, knock, who's there? Mouncy, doze, and dozy, doze. Banana, 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 banana. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana, 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 banana. And kids are supposed to. I'm supposed to not gonna cause they're ether. Ether who? Ether bunny. Anna. Anna outer ether bunny. Okay, kids. This is for age how old? Seven years old. We're not gonna bother with the thing. Let's see. All of your troubles will be over soon. Jess, little old me, very, very interesting. Who's there, Vera, very interesting. Bury, bury me not on the lone prairie. Okay, Saki to me, baby. Okay, it's all you seven-year-olds out here. I got a game for you and you were just gonna die laughing. <laughs> That's cute, it looks great. The artwork is awesome. The artwork is awesome on it. The, uh, now I have, I, I don't have the original uh, well, actually, let me show you this. I don't have the original Viewmaster case, but I do have the original Viewmaster slides. And a little bit earlier, I took uh, a little video of the Viewmaster slides, and I'll put them in here. So these are cool and unique. Now this, talking about unique, the Squeeze Your Bippy game by Hasbro, because that was one of their big uh, catchphrases, you bet your sweet Bippy, and that was, haha, <laughs> you know, very cute, because your Bippy could be your butt, or it could be your other things, and, uh, things. But you, you draw a card, and I guess that's where my accent comes in, huh? Card? <laughs> my, my thick accent. <laughs> So the Laughing Official Game Cards, you must challenge one of the other players to sock it to a sock it to me match. The winner takes the bippy chip. The loser must take a sock block and move back two spaces. Each player has one chance to make you laugh by making one funny face and one funny gesture. Okay. I can see this game would be a lot of fun. And uh, so this is the like the bippy tray, I guess. But this, this game board is incredible looking. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You would, uh, that would make a good clock actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be perfect to put a clock thing in the middle of this. That would make a really good clock. Start, squeeze your bippy. You bet your sweet bippy. So I think you gotta put that there and you gotta try to get it into one of the things. That was a chicken joke. Don't be chicken. Sock it to everybody once. If you miss, you're socked. Here come the judge. Lose your bippy one turn. Beautiful downtown Burbank. This is really new talent time. Oh, that's supposed to be Tiny Tim. I think it's supposed to be Tiny Tim. Who made his debut on Laughing? And funny enough, picture me with Tiny Tim. And I just found a uh, an interview that I did with Tiny Tim's widow. And then someone very kindly had uh, given me all of Tiny Tim's funeral documents, like the original signed documents from the cemetery and for the funeral expenses, etc. So I think I'll be doing that video soon. Love Tiny Tim. I got to meet him. It was bizarre, and but a very kind man. And Miss Sue, his last wife, told me some great stories about him. So that video is coming up very soon. So, this, you bet your squeeze your bippy game. I haven't been able to play it yet. Let's see. 
Oh, this is another. Now you saw this uh, on a video that I did not that re not that long ago, where I got this uh, this little uh, vinyl tote lunch box, which I don't think is insulated in any way, but uh, but I've wanted one of these for a long time too. So what do I do with all this crap? You know, I'm always like, oh, I want one of those, and then I get it. It's like I don't. It just sits around. I put the whole everything on eBay. All right. So now again. I thank you guys for sending me these nice things uh, because I know these were a gift from somebody, the playing cards, and they're all here, and I played solitaire with these, and they do. Look at that design. I mean, how did you know there was a laugh-in restaurant? There was a laugh-in. There were like three. They were trying to get these things off the ground in the 70s, early 70s, or late 60s. Laugh in restaurants. I found the menu online. I wish I would have bought it, but it went for like 400 bucks. But a laugh in restaurant. I took screen captures of it and I'm going to put them in here so you know I'm not lying. Laugh in restaurants. I'm not kidding. And this was a nice gift from a man who this is a play tape, a very unique type of, of tape. It was sort of like Muzak. I've never seen anything like it when this came in. And um, Laugh in Strikes Again. By Henry Gibson, Children of Laugh-In, Ring My Chimes, Vacation In. So this is a, a very unusual uh, and that very nice guy who sent that to me. And forgive me, as I mentioned, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't have all that stuff at my uh, fingertips. Who sent these? And this just came really recently. And uh, again, a nice, a nice woman sent these to me. And I know who you are. And I corresponded with you, but I don't remember your name offhand, so I don't mean to be rude by not acknowledging you personally. Uh, the the laughing book, which is sadly like, you know, it's sort of bland. I was hoping for the more of the vivid colors because that was half of the fun of it. With a, how cool it was. This, my name is Dan Rowan. You can't say that. Not only can, but I did. I can't even do it again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This was a funny show. The cocktail parties were the best. <gasps> Joanne. Nice melon. <laughs> the fickle finger of fate, which was one of their, that was, oh, look at her. Oh my. You always hurt the one you love. Judy Karn, poor Judy Karn. She always got her butt kicked on these shows. Always, always got hit in the face. Very light reading, as you can see. Oh look, Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> What's purple and hums? An electric, ga electric grape? Why does it hum? Because it doesn't know the words. That's a wired grape joke. All right. This was, uh, now this this is a tabloid TV guide that uh, a nice person sent me. Uh, it was, um, Sean sent this to me. In fact, yeah, I just showed you this a couple of weeks ago. Sean is a nice person who sent me this TV guide and all these wonderful, magnificent uh, uh, clippings that I showed you uh, on the last video of opening stuff. So, um, so thank you again. Remember, Judy Karn was, was big into Burt Reynolds. I mean, they were together. I don't know if they ever got married. I don't think they got married. But Burt Reynolds and... Uh, maybe they did. Whirlwind Romance. They were married. That's right. Whirlwind Romance and Troubled Marriage in her sizzling book, sizzling book, Laughing on the Outside, Crying on the Inside. Poor Judy Karn. You've come a long way, baby. Oh, look at that. Holy Water from Lourdes. Lourdes, Lourdes, six hours later, resist. So if you use, if you use the sacred, uh, uh, who was it, St. Bernadette at Lourdes who found Virgin Mary, who saw her up in the in the rocks, and then for $75,000, no, that's not how much, that's how much she won. $12, native crosses, crosses. Wow, using, there you are. Money, money, money. There's, there's money in uh Looks like David Bowie. 
But uh, yes, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. So yeah, Sean, and, they, and we saw these two, the paper dolls. I love these paper dolls. The colors, again, that was what was so cool about laughing. That's why I was, it really was dazzling. And of course the neighbor jackets and the mini skirts and uh, it was, that was a cool looking show. JW, in case you didn't know, that's Joanne Worley. Judy Carn, JC, chickens are foul. And the Gossip Magazine, I went through that before. Look at oh, this this one I got, I showed you. Let's pull apart a little bit. These are going to have to go into, like, storage. Uh, a laughing, little mini laughing book. Whistler's Mother was framed. Okay, I can't, I, this is falling apart. I know collectors, like, screaming. <laughs> the uh, Saturday Evening Post with Goldie and Chelsea and... I'm not gonna open that because it's difficult to open. Diaper rash, don't kid me. And uh, and I'll just do a couple honorable mentions. This is just stuff I put in there because it's 70s and it's colorful. Some of it is TWA old, uh, what is it? First rubber, second rubber, third rubber total. We, they, we, they. This must be a, a game board for uh, the, some kind of uh, they pass them out on the airlines or something for people to play a game. Some foot stickers for hair, the, the play hair. American Tribal Love Musical. These, which I love. Don't love that. Five Deco flower, Flowers. Flowers. Cell adhesive washable and removable. I wonder if they still are. Oh, look at that. I can put them all over the fridge. On the toilet. Mm. Messages by the phone. And this, I remember this game, but it's called Brain Drain. And I think it's a, it's like a, I got this. Got it at a thrift store. Trying to go to the thrift store. It's like a puzzle sort of thing. But I like the, 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 uh, the design. So I think, the last thing I have here is my Laugh-In record album. There's another one uh, that was uh, released, but this is the one I have here. Another, look at that. Oh, so cool. He's Dick, I'm Dick. Wow, Artie Johnson, Larry, Larry Hovis. A truly gifted actor, who's Larry Hovis? Him? Gary Owens, I know them all except Larry Hogan, Luce, Ruth Buzzy. So, Joanne Worley, there she is again. I, that, she is a, a weirdo little sort of obsession of mine. I do love her. So, I, I'm going to end this video on a little bit from this. So, thanks for watching. I hope you like my laughing collection. If you want to own this, I'm putting it on eBay. <laughs> so, um, so uh, it's a bed sheet, actually. It's huge. This has got to be like 10 feet, 10 feet, uh, 10 feet. And it's all, it's, it's nice. I just don't have a place for it. So, uh, all right. So stay tuned. I'm going to do that Tiny Tim video really soon, too, where you're going to see all that paperwork from Tiny's funeral and the interview I did with Miss Sue. I'll, I'll be reading that. So uh, thanks for watching. And until next time. Bam. Horace gave me a Polish goldfish. It drowned. <laughs>